This is a special presentation of seven. This is a special presentation of seven local news with Joanne Desmond. Good evening and welcome to this 7 Local News special update on the floods that continue to paralyse so much of the state. While the existing flood zones remain firmly in the grip of Queensland's worst natural disaster, the emergency is now spreading further south. Torrential downpours have isolated more communities, including Gympie and Meribra. We'll have more on that in a moment. But in central Queensland, after almost two weeks of misery, the frustration is to continue. Even though the Fitzroy River in and around Rockhampton is expected to start falling slowly tomorrow, the experts are saying it could be another week before there's any real relief. Most importantly, that means the hundreds of families displaced by the floodwaters will have to wait even longer to start returning to their homes. In the Darling Downs region, the Boulogne River is expected to peak in St George over the coming hours, but once again the levels are likely to stay high well into next week. Moderate to major flooding is predicted along the Condamine and Boulogne River system over the next few days. One of the major new hotspots is in the southeast along the Mary River. An incredible overnight deluge of up to 300 millimetres or 12 inches on the old scale has drenched the catchment area. There's already major flooding between Gympie and Tyro and also at Meribra where water levels in the area aren't expected to peak until tomorrow at the earliest. Gympie and Meribra are already isolated while the Bruce Highway is closed in several places in the Gympie region and predicted flash flooding will continue the problems for some time yet. On top of all that, the rain is forecast to continue well into next week. So the focus now turns to the Fraser Coast where Meribra residents in low-lying areas along the Mary River are being told to evacuate their homes before an expected peak of nine metres tomorrow morning. Almost 100 millimetres has fallen over the catchment in the past 24 hours. Granville is isolated and the Lamington Bridge is underwater. The Mary River is steady in Gympie at 14.3 metres, but business owners aren't taking any chances, packing up and moving to higher ground. The Bruce Highway is cut, leaving residents and holiday makers stranded. One of the first communities affected by the emergency was Bundaberg, where it's been two weeks since floodwaters first inundated homes. But the problems aren't going away, and Laura Dimmick has the latest. Joe, it's hard to imagine the devastation of a fortnight ago. The Burnett River is back to a safe level of three metres, but the clean-up continues and there's still many challenges ahead. Thank you, Lorraine. Lorraine Pye Finch, the Mayor of the Bundaberg region, joining us there. And Joe, there's certainly a long way to go before residents can put this disaster behind them. Back to you. Yes, it does look like it could say, take some time indeed to recover from this. Thanks for that, Laura. Laura Dimmick reporting there. Well, as we heard earlier, the ordeal continues in and around Rockhampton. The flood peak is over, but the flood waters will recede very slowly. Here's what Rockhampton Mayor Brad Carter had to say at a news conference today. Uh, we're going to have a lot of water for another week. The latest update from the Bureau of Meteorology is that we are having... Uh, we don't expect the waters to get below 8.5 metres until about next Friday. What this really means in reality is that the airport will be closed, the Bruce Highway and the Capricorn Highway will remain closed during that period. So this means that we have still another long period for a, a number of people in our rural communities, uh, people living in the low-lying urban areas who are going to be isolated and inundated with water. That was Rockhampton Mayor Brad Carter. And let's see now what the Mother Nature has in store for the flood areas and unfortunately the forecasts keep on featuring that word rain. Around Rockhampton there is the chance of a shower or storm tomorrow continuing until Tuesday. In the Wide Bay it's a similar story across the region tomorrow through till at least Tuesday and on the Darling Downs the forecast is for rain at times tomorrow also continuing until Tuesday. Well, we'll leave it there for now, but stay with us for the national news at six tonight, right after the Great South East. Join us again for the very latest tomorrow at 5.30 for another special update. Until then, good night. <laughs>